watching on YouTube and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Let's load back up the game. I've got Lauren and Liam here still. I still have them captive. They haven't found a way to escape yet. How's it going, you two? Going good. That makes it sound like I want to escape. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to continue this conversation any further than it's already <laughs> gone. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, we're in Birth by Sleep, which I'm super pumped for. I don't... Like, I'm pretty sure some of these early songs are going to be sort of like, eh, whatever. But, like, once we get to the end game of Birth by Sleep, who boy. Birth by Sleep has some of the best music, especially for boss fights. I really want to play Rage Awakened. Um, this is where you this is where you can't trust me to recap the story as much. He didn't play Birth by Sleep, he just watched cutscenes, I think. Well, just in general, like if you start asking me Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance and Kingdom Hearts 3, that's when I started getting a bit more like, I don't understand it anymore, so I'm just playing the game. <laughs> so uh, I, start, you know, I start just making up my own stuff eventually. Birth by Sleep is a prequel to Kingdom Hearts 1, Lauren. It's set 10 years before the events of the very first game. Okay. And it's based around three Keyblade wielders who were training under Master Ericus, who was a Keyblade master. And Are Ma these the three Keyblade wielders? Yes, yes. Wielders? This is the Wayfinder okay. trio. They're the three Keyblade wielders. You'll notice that uh, the one on the left, that's Ventus. He looks uh, strangely similar to Roxas, as in the fact that they literally look the same. Is that like, are they related or are they just that? Well, you're going to love this. Every character, not every character, but 97% of all characters in Kingdom Hearts are either Sora or Xehanort in some <laughs> way or <Okay>. fashion. <laughs> You're always, every, if you point to a character in Kingdom Hearts, there is a 87% chance that I can tell you they were at one point in time either a Xehanort or a Sora. It's, except for Disney characters. Except for Disney characters. Not Mickey? No, yeah, those Mickey, guys, they Disney, don't count. Disney characters are just characters. Everyone else is a Sora or a Xehanort. It's like a personality test. Are you a Sora or a Xehanort? Yeah, basically. Do you think that, you think that personality test exists? Oh, Probably. I'm sure it does. I'll Google it. Do you think there's a, there's a Buzz, BuzzFeed quiz somewhere? <laughs> but anyway, the purpose of this game is it takes you back to these three characters, right? And then, uh, so we told you before that, like, Xemnas and Ansem, the villains of the cage one and cage two they were like the heartless and the nobody of some dude mm -hmm. named master xehanort right yeah sorry i'm having to focus for a second here i gotta i gotta get back into the groove of the game i'm gonna be a little not ideal for a bit as i get back Take to your time. that's but, fine um, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna but anyways you have master now. master ericus who is teaching these three keyblade wielders who you see these three in their armor they have armor which is sick you see them in their armor at the secret episode of kingdom hearts 2 but, uh, I got a full chain. I think that means I didn't miss a single prompt in that entire episode. Ooh. But I just barely missed getting excellent and above. Anyways, um, so, you have these three characters learning under Master Ericus, who is a new character you've never seen, and they're training together and stuff. Uh, and then Master Xehanort shows up because he's a friend of Master Ericus. They, like, grew up together or something, training with one another. When you see Master Xehanort, he's an old, bald man. However, you know that this game takes place 10 years before KH1, and in KH1 and KH2, with uh, Xemnas and Ansem, they look like men in their 20s or 30s. Uh -huh. So immediately you're like, this doesn't make any sense. How did Xehanort go from being an old bald man to being an absolute hunk in the other two KH games? Love your use of the word hunk. Yeah, I knew you would. But, uh... <laughs> Thus, this is the prequel also to Benjamin Button. I don't know what that uh. means. As he ages backwards and just gets younger. He starts off really oh, old okay. and younger. Yeah, you know, that popular film Chaos. You may not know it because it's not an anime. I don't watch movies very much, I'm sorry. Unless it was like Disney, Pixar, or MCU. But, uh, but anyways, <laughs> so you get into the Game Master Xehanort and all, and then... Uh, the purpose of the game is that at the very start, there's a Mark of Mastery exam. So Terra and Aqua, the two who don't look like Roxas, so not Ventus, mm -hmm. it's the blue girl and uh, the dude with brown hair here, uh, are taking their Mark of... Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so they're taking their Mark of Mastery exam to see if they can become masters. And uh, Terra, during the exam, accidentally 
uses some dark powers, and that means that he can't become a master. But then Aqua nails it because she's the best girl in Kingdom Hearts. And she <laughs> becomes a master. Then Xehanort has this dude named Benitas who just wears a mask the whole time, so you don't get to see his face until like the very end of the game. But uh, this dude named Benitas creates these creatures we're fighting, the Unversed. The one I told you about, they come from his negative emotions. He's like the other half these of little, Ventus. These little blue boys. These little yes. blue boys, yeah. <laughs> it's actually a pretty difficult track. More difficult than the other one I just did. But anyways, so uh, because Vanitas is sending the Unversed out into the world, Ericus is like, Terra, Aqua, you two have to go and like see what's going on and fix this nonsense. So they go to do that, and then Vanitas tells Ventus, like, hey, Terra's gonna, like, die or something like that. He's like, Terra's as good as screwed, and you're never gonna see him again. And so then Ventus runs away from home to go try and find Terra, and uh, Aqua goes to watch Terra and make sure he doesn't use the darkness more and to try and get Ventus back home, both of which she fails miserably at. But, um... Okay. Best girl. Best girl, she does... Uh, well, it's more Ventus and Terra's fault that she fails than it is Aqua's fault. Agreed, agreed. Also, the name of that song was Risky Romp, title of my life. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so they, you know, they're going through the game and all that and whatnot, and going through these Disney worlds and everything. Uh, as they go through... Where is I going with this? But anyways, as they go through, Master Xehanort is slowly but surely, like, manipulating Terra and trying to get him to use the darkness and stuff more, because he's, like, the most... It, like, just look at a picture of old Master Xehanort. He's the most evil-looking man in history. But, uh, how, do I, how do I spell that? X-E-H-A-N-O-R-T Alright. I typed the first three letters and it was... Yeah, there aren't many people whose names are spelt like Xehanort. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he is old. Yeah, he, he is old. But anyways, so you go through the game and all that with, like, uh, running into Vanitas and Xehanort here and there and some other... You run into some other organization members back before they were nobodies, so you get to see, like, their original selves, which is <laughs> awesome. But, uh... Oh, dear, that was... What on earth is this? This track is confusing me. But, uh... By the end of it, you all... Uh, you get to the point where Master Xehanort reveals... He's trying to do two things, and he admits to one of them to trick Aqua and Terra and Ventus to coming to uh, the Keyblade <laughs> Graveyard. So, the what he's trying to do is he wants to get uh, Ventus and Vanitas to merge back together into one to create, you're going to love this, to create the ultimate weapon, and you want to know what that ultimate weapon's name is? What? Keyblade. Oh, okay. Like, you know, the name of the weapon. However, it's not it's not spelt the same way. It's actually like a Latin X that is pronounced like key, like C H I. And that's that's the name of the weapon. Even though all of the other like keyblades are called keyblades. There is a keyblade where in the subtitles it will be like Latin X blade. <laughs> Do they have like a, like a like a maximum word count of things that they can put in this game? Like... Maybe. <laughs> Yo, the Bibbidi Bobby I... Boo song sucks, by the way. I still call I still call it. Yeah, I know it's Keyblade. I know that's just correct. But to save myself the issue of confusing myself and others when I talk about it, I just call it Crossblade. That's fair. Because mm. it also looks like that as well. Yeah, it's it's a sick looking weapon. But, but uh, like it's in an it's in an X, it's in a cross, it's a crossblade. Yeah, I mean X's are a really big deal. You'll probably notice, uh, Lauren, that all of the organization members have an X in their name. When you become a nobody, this is the case for every nobody except Nomine, I believe. When you become a nobody, your name is created by taking the letters of your original self's name and putting an X in it and then mixing it around. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, so like Roxas, <laughs> Roxas for instance, Roxas is the nobody of Sora, so it's just Sora, S O R A. You put an X in the middle and then mix it around, you get Roxas. Oh my god. Axel's original name was Lee, but it was spelt L E A. Saix's original name was Isa. Xemnas's original name is technically Xehanort, but he stole Ansem's name. He was the apprentice to Ansem the Wise, so he used mm -hmm. Ansem's name to make the name Xemnas, so. So that's why all these names are like that. 
yeah, they're all. That's why I. Why, that's why they're all very confusing, and they feel so similar. Is because they are. Yeah, yes. it's they just take the original person, the original name they had, put in an X, and then just like shake it all around and see what comes out. Very interesting. They really do have a limited like word count. Yeah, basically. It's like a. They have. Horrible, they have to make do with what they have. It's like a horrible, horrible game of countdown where you just have to use the letters you've got. Do you guys have countdown? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. We might have it's it. A... We might know the game, but it might have a different name. It's a British game show. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. It's like on TV. Yeah, I yeah, know well, where game like, shows yeah, normally travel. are, Liam. We do have game shows, just not that one. No, but I'm just saying it's on TV. It's not just It's not like a, It's not just like a game. It's like a TV show. Oh, but anyways, no, no. so Xehanort wants to create the Keyblade by merging Ventus and and uh, Vanitas back together. And to uh, to stop that, Ventus says like he wants Aqua and Terra to kill him. And then Aqua and Terra are like, absolutely freaking not. You're basically our son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they get to the Keyblade graveyard and then like Vanitas fights Ventus and Aqua along with Braig, who is the original person of Zigbar, one of the organization members. Uh, who works with Xehanort, but, uh, so they fight Vanitas, and meanwhile, Terra fights Master Xehanort, right? Yeah. So, as he is, oh, good, I finished that song, but, uh, as Terra is fighting Xehanort, the Keyblade gets forged from Ventus and Vanitas, because they're fighting each other at the time, and then... Xehanort stabs himself in the chest with his own Keyblade after Terra beats him, and then says like, uh, Terra, your darkness will be the arc that sustains me and all, and then he takes over Terra's body by putting his heart into Terra. Oh. And then he becomes affectionately named by the fandom Terranort, because it's Xehanort in Terra's body. You have a, you have a sub to thank you, Chaos. Oh, I do? You Zazu, do. thank you so much for giving, uh, giving a tier one sub to Wildcat. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support. But anyways, so oh. then Xehanort takes over Terra's <coughs> body and becomes Terranort. And basically what it does is he's in Terra's body, except his eyes turn yellow, like Master Xehanort's, and then his hair turns white. So that's that's how he becomes a hunk, basically, is that he takes over the younger body of Terra. Okay. Then there's still too much in this game. Yeah, then Aqua fights Terranort to try to get him back. Oh, dude, I actually love this. Is the unversed boss music? I actually really like this track. But uh, so then Aqua fights Terranort to try and get him back, right? And uh, Terranort like starts dragging himself into darkness and all that as a result. And uh, then Aqua sacrifices herself to the realm of darkness to save Terra from being Terra's body from being consumed. And as a result, that somehow makes Xehanort lose his memory. Okay. So then Xehanort doesn't remember his plan or what he's doing or anything. So he just, like, becomes an apprentice to Ansem the Wise for a few years until he gets his memories back. And he, he just gets them back. Well, he gets them back after he, like, starts to turn himself into a heartless and a nobody, I think. I don't remember the exact timeline of that. But anyways, so that happens. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I forgot to mention the part where after Xehanort takes Terra's body over, right? Uh, Terra literally becomes so mad that his rage be like takes like takes the form of his armor and then his armor which is called the lingering will starts fighting Terranort to stop him from getting the keyblade okay and it has one of the <laughs> it has one of the best oaths in the franchise called rage awaken which we'll get to hear in the near future I know it sounds okay, wild yeah. to you, but I assure you, everything I just said is, like, the favorite part of a lot of people, like, a lot of fans' favorite part of the series. And Chaos omitted a lot of stuff. He didn't even mention how these three meet Sora and Riku when they're children. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Terra is actually, um, so, like, you know in Kingdom Hearts 1, Sora gets the Keyblade, right? Yeah. Well, to get, you can't just, like, get a Keyblade. You have to, like, be given one by a master. They have to do a little, a little you oath. You have to earn it. Not, not even necessarily. You don't have to earn it. Just like it's a like keyblade, an apprenticeship kind of thing. Apprenticeship kind of thing. Yeah, like the keyblade master. Just that sounds has like to you like, have to earn it. Chaos. No, you don't. No, you don't have to earn anything <laughs> because if a keyblade wielder sees you and is like, 
you have the the makings to become a Keyblade wielder, then he'll just give you the power to get one. Because that's okay. what that's what Terra did for Riku. So Terra finds Riku as a five year old and is like, this five year old's got the right stuff. And then is like, here you go, five year old. One day you'll have a weapon of mass destruction of your own to use. So uh, he does that. But then in Kingdom Hearts one, or no, I got a little ahead of myself again. But then like. They don't give Sora the ability to get a Keyblade, right? They only give it to Riku. Then in Kingdom Hearts mm -hmm. 1, Riku, because he's edgy, gives into the power of darkness before getting the Keyblade that Terra gave him the power to get. So then that power goes to Sora, and that's how Sora gets a Keyblade. Okay. It's also, it's also why Riku is more susceptible to Xehanort's and Ansem and all that's influence. Um. At least that's what I heard as well. Uh, and then I mean, that makes sense. And then there's a whole thing as thing as well as like Vinitas, his heart lives in Sora, and like Aqua has something to do with living in Sora, and that's think... also what in, that's also what influenced him to get a Keyblade. I don't think Aqua has anything to do with Sora. Vinitas's heart is not in Sora, so like Vinitas is not even a full heart because he was like half of Ventus's heart, like the dark half, and ripped out. And so, Vanitas looks like edgy Sora. He's Sora with black hair, but he looks like Sora because Ventus's, like, missing half of his heart that was Vanitas gets replaced by, uh, by some of Sora's heart. Sora's heart, like, merges with Ventus, and so Vanitas, Vanitas is connected to Sora as a result. But Ventus yeah. definitely... Ventus definitely has a connection to Sora, because that's the reason why his nobody looks like uh, looks like Roxas. Well, yeah, yeah Ventus, Ventus is like Ventus's damaged heart is merged with Sora's heart. Yeah, that's why that's the one I meant, not for Ventus. Ventus. Oh, you just said the wrong name. I did say. They the both wrong start name. with V, and they sound similar, and they're basically the same person. So that's understandable. They are the same. Per they are the same person. It's, it's Ventus and the cooler Ventus. I just really want to acknowledge this message in chat from Wildcat that says, also, Lauren, Mickey Mouse is in this game, too. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, just... yeah. Yeah. Like, I know that he's here. I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> I showed I, mean... I showed Lauren, I DM'd her the, uh, the scene of Goofy dying and then Mickey, like, clenching his fist and going, he'll pay. <laughs> It's really good. Also, Chaos, I don't know if you've just ignored it or what, but there are some very good images in, in our... Our Discord chat now that you and I have been sending. Of, of, um... Like you've been doing it in the past couple of seconds? Yeah. Uh, well, well, while if you've, you've done it. Playing. Yeah, while I've been playing. Oh, you mean while I'm playing the rhythm game where if I take my eyes away, I'll lose, right? Yeah, that's why I said I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> no, I definitely haven't. I haven't been looking at Discord at all. I know. How, how dare you? I don't have Discord, like, open while I'm streaming because one, one no stream. Need. One screen is ch is my chat, and the other screen is Streamlabs. Lauren. Hmm. Chaos has two monitors. Are you going to make fun of him like you did me? Yeah. Lauren, do you only have one monitor? I have a laptop. Doesn't even have one monitor. I mean, her you monitor can... is her computer. Well, you can you can still set up a second monitor on a laptop. True. I don't have a desk. But that's a bit more of an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I could set up a second monitor. I would just have to put it like on my bed, which I feel like is not great <laughs> yeah i mean listen this is like the one thing that me and michael are uh well not the one thing because we're a united coalition on stuff like magi and naruto as well but like me and michael are united front on this and we've been trying to get slyro to like stop being a fool for years everyone thinks they don't need a second monitor until they have it for like two or three days and then they realize they can never live with a single monitor ever again Oh, I would uh, love to have a second monitor. I just don't have a desk right now. That's completely understandable. 